morning, good morning, good morning to you guys, or good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. How are we doing? How are we doing? Right, I'm just going to find find us on my computer behind my uh, phone, so I can make sure that we're live and I can see comments as per usual. Now, this is a good one today. This is a good topic to talk about today because a lot of you need to talk about this because there is solutions to help you but a lot of it comes down to you at the end of the day so this is how to be consistent by training at home every single week okay if you've got a pole at home it's being neglected probably if you're not using it so let's get you using it um it does require a little bit of time a little bit of thinking a lot of you won't put that effort in and then so you have all these good intentions um, and then even may join a couple of sites and then not use it and then just cancel it rather than actually changing your mindset um, and actually getting the results you want. So we're going to talk about that today. OK, I might call some of you out. Um, but it's so true. And but we, we're always having to learn. We're always having to adjust, including myself. Like, you know, you can make a plan. Your plans don't always plan out. But. There's a way we can work on that, the way we can make sure that we do maintain consistency, we do get our shit done. Does that make sense? Right, let me just see if I am here. Hey, Sue, how you doing? Morning, up with the grandson, otherwise you wouldn't see me at this time in the morning. <laughs> so like, my boy's been up since, I don't know, about 10 to 5. Uh, so not too bad, but 10 to 5, yeah, and it was like fuss-assing. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting back to sleep now. <laughs> so we've been up. Uh, good morning, Tanisha. How are you doing? How are you doing? I think I do have some shout outs actually because I haven't been able to record for a little while. Uh, okay, so some shout outs. We've got Lindsay, Roxanne, Kylie. Shout out to Facebook stars. Beth was a new one. Uh, I can't remember if I shouted out Joanna. Uh, there's a few on there. There are a few people that I'm not going to call out, but I'm going to talk about. Not talk about, but like talk in general because it's related to this topic. Uh, kind of what I just said, really. Good, I'm so glad you're good. So well done, guys. Welcome, welcome, uh, welcome, 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 welcome to PPA. Super excited to have you on board. Um, but if you're here, it's because you want the results, right? It's like, I want the results. That's why you've, I've joined your program or membership or whatever it may be. So how are you going to ensure that you get the results that you want by consistently training at home, right? That's today's topic. Let's get stuck in. Let me know if you've got any questions as we go along. So with, with training at home, just like I've always talked about, it's always about a plan, okay? But you don't need to be, um, you can have a plan, which I recommend having a plan, but if you're not actually doing the plan, that's a different thing, right? So we're going to pretend that you've got a plan that you're not actually doing. Um, and for one, it comes down to discipline and how much you want it. Okay, that's number one. But two, also knowing and expect the unexpected, which is where a lot, pe a lot of people fail. Uh, this is what they don't do. So they don't expect not to be able to train. If you expect that something is going to pop up, then you have an alternative, okay? So you just think, okay, if I'm not training today, or something pops up, I don't know, something random, okay, I know, somebody crashes into your car outside and you have to deal with that or you have a power cut and you're trying to work out in the evening and it's pitch black and you can't do it um your, your wi-fi goes down you can't get your lessons up whatever it may be it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter to be honest what the reason is and there'll always be something that pops up okay and this goes to that's goes to prove actually at the moment if you have a look inside our if you are part of our members group um go and have a look at inside the ppa members group and we've just started accountability. And I've just called out people actually. So if you're looking for accountability and you are a member, make sure you're in that group and make sure you're on the tracker because I've just been through it and I've called out all the people who haven't actually posted who said they wanted the accountability and I've, I've given a shout out to all the people who have. Um, and those people who haven't, I've got some messages back. And it's always, oh, you know, the unexpected surprises happened, this happened, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm not disregarding what's gone on, but we want to make sure that going forwards, if those things arose again, we have a plan. Uh, so, for example, if something did happen, regardless of what it is, 
you know it you can go it's all right i've got i know i know that i knew this may, may have popped up or i knew there may have been a problem because i now have a backup so for example you plan to work out in the morning because you're more productive which is awesome something pops up you know maybe you have i know a burst pi water pipe or something you have to deal with that um you know something you have to attend to right away cool gotta attend it not not to worry not not my best training in the evening but that's when i have time available i am still going to be doing my workout i am still going to be disciplined to myself to get this done it might not have been when i planned it exactly but i have a backup does this make sense so far hey lovely all the way from south africa <laughs> i need this oh good stuff hey ingeberg how are you doing hey tamsin um yes and so many uh, so many people do need this <laughs> so making a not only making a plan of what you're going to do, but also be disciplined to make sure you do it. So if, for example, if you were booking into a studio lesson, you wouldn't not show up, would you? You you would have respect to your instructor. If you have booked a time and a day to go to the studio for a lesson, you would show up. You need the same respect for yourself. You need to change your mindset and... Um, well, I can't think of the right word, but you need to respect yourself in the same manner. You need to show up for yourself. That is the only way you're going to be able to do it. Does this make sense? I keep saying that recently. I need to stop asking that. Well, saying that as many times as I am. <laughs> um, Berg, I used to plan Monday and Tuesday just to get the I'm late. I have to do it today on Tuesday and Friday. Knew that I was prone to postpone. So made sure I had the backup day. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. So this is something I mentioned yesterday in our members group. What I recommend you do is plan most of your sessions at the beginning of the week, okay? Or make sure you've got a session at the beginning of the week um, so that you can make sure that you have used your poll at least once a week. Even if you've planned a few more times a week, if we can get you just to commit and train once a week, anything else is a bonus. But what tends to happen is people find they have a week and they're like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Before you know it, it's Sunday and they're like, oh, and then emergency does pop up that they have to deal with right there and then. And then that whole week's blown. Yeah, so really make sure that actually we adjust what you're already doing. So if you're like, oh, I'm not really planning, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it at some point, and that's not worked for you so far, okay? If you've not got on your poll yet, <laughs> let's do something about that. So let's go forwards with a different outlook um, to make sure that we can poll each week. Because you, you can totally make progress at home actually you can make far more progress at home because you can make sure that your training works around you works around your family commitments you know if something goes wrong you're not going to miss a lesson because you can adjust it those kind of things i think you can make so much progress at home but you do have to be disciplined and you do have to be respectful to yourself um because you know if you don't respect yourself who else will and i think that's really important especially if you have children and you do struggle to get to um your maybe a studio maybe you don't like going to the studio lessons. Maybe you love learning at home anyway, but they're also watching you. So actually showing that you do have discipline, that you do have to look after your body and making sure that you do it regardless, put it in. Because I bet you that they also, you know, your kids may also have, I don't know, um, after store clubs, you know, swimming, anything like that. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get them to miss it, right? So it's got to be the same for you as well. Uh, does this, this is, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Um, but hopefully this is all making sense to you. So let me know going forwards, instead of going, you know what, I'm not using my membership, I'm cancelling, whether it's with me or whether it's somebody else, okay, they probably have the solution that you need to get the results that you want, right, as you wouldn't have joined. If you are not using it, that's on you. And you've then got to think to yourself, it doesn't matter how many, because lots of people do it, they're like, oh, that one didn't work for me, I'll join that one. Oh, that one didn't work for me, I'll join that one. And they continuously go back and forth and join different sites and not actually do it, where really they need to go, well, why did that not work for me? Oh, because I actually did no training whatsoever. The only time I logged in was to actually cancel it, right? So you know how to log in to cancel it, so you know how to, damn well how to log in to actually use it. Um, 
So you might go, you know what? I'm going to give this a good go. I'm going to give this a go for a month. Okay, that's only four sessions. You know, say one session a week. Let's give this a go. And so do something differently. If you want a different result, if you're not getting it, I cannot give you a magic pill. I cannot give you a magic wand. Okay, no matter as much as you want it. Um, and sometimes we do have to, well, actually 100% of the time, we have to take responsibility for ourselves, for our actions. And if you're not doing it, that's on you. But know that there's ways of changing it. And actually, you can make progress and you can be consistent. But it does make you need to make sure that you're already going, I know, you know, this thing might pop up or um you know, anything that may occur, you do have a backup, which is why I think it's really important that you don't overwhelm yourself by trying to train all the days that you have available. Uh, it's why I always recommend like two to three times a week. Um, if you have that time available, if you've got once a week, then go once a week. But always, if you've got like five times a week, have those extra two days a week as backup so that you you know that actually you're going to get your train done. And then if, you, if you've got the time, then you can use them as bonus sessions. But otherwise, if you try and train, if you've got five days a week and you try and fit in five sessions a week and you don't, you're going to get overwhelmed, you're going to get frustrated with yourself. But if you plan something minimal as three times a week, one of the week, one of the days don't go to plan. You have still got the other two days. Does this make sense? So it's being realistic to be achievable. And I also recommend if you have not touched your pole in a while, or you've joined and you've never <laughs> done any of the lessons before, just start off with once a week. Because a lot of people go, oh yeah, but I want to do this and this, and then they end up doing like trying to plan three or four sessions when they haven't been consistent of doing it once. So let's go consistency of once a week, okay? So I would love for you, I bet lots of you won't do it <laughs> because that's just the, just the way it is. Um, I know that. Uh, but I would love for you to tell me what day of the week you are planning to um, do a lesson at home today. Hopefully you have a membership that you have lessons to be able to follow if you if you get confused and you don't know what to do. If you're one that just looks at the poll like, what? <laughs> then you'll definitely need a membership. If you don't have one, you know that we have our Mission 500 membership. Well, I'm happy to help you. Um, and then make sure you've got accountability. So accountability is another great thing. Whether that is, if you don't have anyone, then we obviously have the accountability tracker. Um, you can create one for yourself. It's really good to have done with the community because like I said, I will call you out. I'll be like, hey, <laughs> you might think that you're on your own training, but I am watching for you. I am making sure that you are doing it each week. And so if I don't see any posts from you, I'm going to assume that you've done no training and therefore I'm going to call you out and hopefully that will just give you that kick up the butt to go you know what <laughs> I don't want to be called out again <gasps> I'm gonna do it yeah does this make sense stop it Kelly stop it <laughs> um uh, if you if you have somebody that you can train with that could be somebody across the world long as your times like time you know your days and times work together to train so somebody might be doing it here in the morning and it might be the same time somebody's doing it there in the evening uh, like in Australia or something then your time you can still train together so that's another way of staying accountable if you again it's almost like going to a class isn't it you are being respectful to that other person you are being respectful to your instructor whoever it may be to show up um, so if you can't show up for yourself, show up for somebody else, because then that will get that consistency going. And then hopefully we can train you to be consistent and respectful to yourself. Um, but we've got to get going. Yeah. So make a change starting today. It's a brand new week. OK, there's no reason why you couldn't fit it in. Um, even if, like I said, if you get up half an hour morning, do a 30 minute workout, whether that's a core blast, body blast, whatever it may be um, to get going. Yeah, you may even want to do our, some of our pole circuits if you've got access to that. So you can do this. <laughs> Laughing out loud, that makes sense. Absolutely. Sometimes it does make sense, but it isn't until somebody else says it. And you're like, oh, why didn't I think about that? I do that all the time. <laughs> Good morning, Heather. How are you doing? <laughs> so hopefully this will give you a bit of a kick up the butt, okay? Don't go cancelling your memberships. That's why you've got it in the first place, okay? You, they're going to get you the results or... Oh, if you do them, you'll get the results. So actually, it's not what you've got, it's what you're doing with it. And at the moment, if you're not doing it, you're not going to get the results. So let's change something. Don't worry if something pops up because you're going to have that backup, right? So that's what I would recommend is just think. You can always think as well. If you have the diary, where's my diary gone? I haven't put my diary in. Um, 
the PD, uh, the, uh, uh, I've put it actually on the membership, the Mission 500 membership, which you can download literally on the homepage. You go on there, download it. And one of the things in there, if you flick through the first few pages of the week, it asks you what could possibly go wrong. Yeah, what could uh, pop up that may stop you from training? And you can list all the things that could go wrong. My kids are sick, I'm sick, my car's broken down, can't get to work, need to do this, need to do that. Things may go wrong, that is just part of life. There are gonna be things that you don't even think about, but if you know what could go wrong, you could plan around them, and that will change everything for you. That's what helps me stay productive in my week. Um, I have like my list of what I'm doing each day, but I also have time within that day if something buggers up. Because you, if you can also plan your plans, like I said, I was saying at the very beginning, your plans may not always go to plan. Um, so for example, I plan three hours to do an activity. It may take me five Okay, and it's really annoying. I'm like, oh, I thought I'd get this done in three hours, but it took me five. Uh, so therefore, two hours over, two hours into my training that I have scheduled. So don't worry, it's okay. I'll do it, you know, whenever, like when my partner's home to look after the boy or um, it's fine. I've got a little bit of time. I'll get up extra early in the morning. I'll do it in the morning, whatever it may be, because I've already planned for that. Yeah. So don't overwhelm yourself. Don't think you have to do everything. Just plan one thing and then plan for if that thing, something arises when you plan, you've got a backup. Yeah. Go for that. Uh, I plan to do poll on a Monday, live MTC lesson until my recovery plan ends in October, then evaluate. Exactly. And if something pops up, you'll be able to just slot it in somewhere else. Cool. OK, I'm going to stop going on about that. OK, but if you want results, let's get stuck in. Let me know when you're going to train this week what you're going to train and whether you're doing it morning, lunchtime, afternoon, evening, um, so that you've got some idea as well. Because again, if you just leave this live right now and you carry on as normal, you'll probably go, I'll do it sometime this week. And guess what? Something's going to pop up. Guess what? Another week you're not going to use your poll. Don't let that be you. Okay. Uh, I really want to see you make huge progress. Um, Make sure you post in the group if you are with us. Uh, if you're not, of course, you know, if you've got a group that you can post in, awesome. You can always post on this live. <laughs> okay, we love to see you. Hey, Jennifer, how you doing? Um, whatever, it, whatever it is, just do it. And I can't wait to see. Imagine if you just trained just once a week for the rest of this year, how much further you would be than not doing anything at all. Okay, just, just some things to think about. Okay, right. <laughs> Have a wonderful day and I'll see you later.